Ms. Transformers 96 heard another very review this time of Iron Man 2 Classic Iron Monger. I have him here posed with all of the um, classic Iron Man 2 villains, and he just looks great with them, as you can see. So let me just get them out of the way. Move this up. So we obviously have the, uh, a classic Iron Monger. Uh, Iron Monger classic with a great um, trading card. It's like he's buff of the upper body and stuff uh, with a great base, of course. Turn it to the back, a very nice picture with a little bio and the more you can get from this series. So now, talking about Iron Monger himself, he is a very bright blue, looks um, looks pretty nice. The shoulder plaid blue uh, is a little bit different than like the chest blue, and uh, it's uh, just the so shoulder plaids are a little bit lighter than the chest. And um, this guy is great. When you get him out of packaging, he's gonna be uh, you know just very uh, tight. Um, you really just have to move his joints around to loosen him up a bit, and uh, it, he is good. Um. I have a couple complaints. The neck piece right here. As you can see, it is not glued on. It just stays there, and sometimes when you rotate his head, the neck goes with it, and it's not supposed to. Really wish they could have glued this neck piece down. I really doubt that it's just mine. Um, I really uh, I really am disappointed with the neck piece. Um, uh, just That's pretty much the only complaint I have. Um, he's got a great antenna there. Make sure that um, you don't rip that off any time if you don't see it. The um, the uh, kind of hoses or tubes look great. Um, they're fantastic. Just the way that they put that and allowed you to move at the joint is just fantastic. Um, hand sculpt is great. Fists again. I'm so glad that they have the buff guy have two fists instead of like a hand or a fist. And um, uh, some great black detailing in this guy. Very bulky, no accessories, um, but he doesn't need it. You really get your money with plastic. Um, they even did kind of like boosters and detailing on the bottom of the foot and nobody looks under there. So that is just fantastic that they'd even do that. The back piece is great. It's still very well detailed. And um, what I did notice is... Next to Hulkbuster, they look awesome together. The um, chest and kind of body right here is pretty much the same up here. Uh, obviously, different paint job, and different um, little tweaking, but still, it's the same kind of design. And uh, these guys look great. You can put them in some very nice battle poses. And um, he also, uh, here he is next to the modern day movie version. And uh, they look pretty cool together. Obviously very different, but very cool. I uh, love the head sculpt. Very nice. Uh, they did very well detailing with this guy. And uh, very good. I recommend him. Um, as you know, uh, this guy isn't released yet. Uh, the only place that you can get him is the Philippines or on... Um, on uh, you know, just any website, but um, I got this guy on eBay for 24 bucks, and uh, it w it was worth it. Um, maybe you don't spend 24, yeah, 15, he's worth it. And if you see him in the store, obviously he's a worthy pickup. But if you want to buy him online, make your top 17 for him, I'd say, because he is a very decent figure. Unless you are a hardcore Ironmonger fan, then buy him at any cost. He is great, a great addition to your Ironmonger collection. As um, Mr. Transformers Iron Man Classic Monger Toy Review. Thanks for watching.